world record for the uh, world championship pumpkin chunkin held each year in the state of Delaware is held by an air cannon named Second Amendment. So basically there's a whole bunch of cannons and they shoot pumpkins out of them. So that cannon won for like the furthest or highest or something, all right? So the height of a pumpkin T seconds after being shot from this machine can be described by that equation. So this parabola actually tracks the path of the pumpkin, all right? After how many seconds will a pumpkin shot from this machine land on the ground? So we're going to do all the work today on our calculators. And then we'll, as long as we know what to push, what buttons, we should be able to do it. So go to menu and make sure you clear anything out. And I'll just put mine back in like the normal window. Okay. Our window we're going to have to work on. But first thing we're going to do is enter the equation. Okay, so if you have a blank screen, you should be good to go. Just press tab, and we're all going to enter the same equation, which is negative 16. You can use x instead of t. It doesn't really matter. So x squared plus 880x plus 70. All right, click enter, and you're like, what? That does not help me. All right, I don't see a parabola, which is what we should be seeing here. So we need to change our window. I just want to make sure everyone has the equation entered. So do this with me. Some of you guys are all on different stuff. Do this with me. Go to menu, and then go to window, and then go to window settings. We're going to set our own window. Okay. So go to menu, window, window settings, okay. So you guys, X is time. How much time do you guys think these pumpkins are in the air for? How long? 800 seconds? That seems like a long time. But maybe, all right, maybe. I'm going to go with like 100 seconds, okay? Maybe 100 seconds. So I'll put another zero on here. And your minimum for your X you could start at zero because we really don't have negative time. But I'm going to do negative 10 just to see a little bit of that. Okay. For my y min, again, we don't really care. I'm going to just do negative 10. It's not going to go below the ground. It's going to smash into the ground. Okay. And then we've got the, the height. How high do you guys think one of these pumpkins can go? How long? How high? 500. What are we even talking about? Feet? So check out question B. Oh, that's like crazy, all right? 11,000 feet. So we need to go up to at least 11,000 feet. So let's do 15,000 feet. 15,000, be sure you have three zeros on there. And then click OK, and you should get this beautiful pumpkin parabola. Okay. How many seconds will a pumpkin shot from this machine land on the ground? What is this graph telling us? Well, the pumpkin starts over here in the cannon, and then it travels up higher and higher and higher. So the y-axis is the height. And as time goes on, it goes further and further down, and then it smashes into the ground. So the x-axis is time, and the y-axis is height. So this is how high it's going in time. When does it hit the ground? Which coordinate point? are we talking about for when the pumpkin hits the ground? The x-intercept, the second one, right? Because it starts over here. When does it hit here? So go to menu. Go to analyze graph. Which one of those represents our x-intercept? Zero. And we only need the one on the right. So you press zero, and you go left of it and right of it, and it finds the time. So this left-hand side, the S part of the coordinate, is the time that it took. And this is really 0. So see this e to the negative 10? That's point zero 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 right? 9. So that's really 0. It's supposed to be 0, but it gets close in estimates because it's not exact. Okay? So that should be 0. 
So anyways, when does it hit the ground? 55.079 seconds. So that's what we would write down for when does it hit the ground? 55.079 seconds. Go back to your graph. So the second question says, when will it hit 11,000 feet? What we can do is put a line in at 11,000 feet. So everybody press tab and then do 11,000 and then press enter. And you should get a straight line at 11,000 feet. Okay. So when's the parabola actually going to hit 11,000 feet? Or I mean the pumpkin. Right here. That's a special point where they intersect, and right here. And we want to know at what time. So we're going to go menu, analyze graph, and which of those do you think we use? No, nope, zeros are for x-intercepts. Intersection. When you have two graphs and you want to find where they cross, use intersection. So let's all do the one on the left first. So go left of it, right of it, and we get that point, which is 18.949. Seconds. Now there are two places where it hits 11,000 feet. One on the way up and one on the way down. So we have to do the same thing. Menu, analyze graph, intersection, left of the other point, right of the other point. Notice how you can't see it. So if you can't see it, you like highlight your mouse over it, and it kind of like shows up there. 36.051 seconds. <coughs> so those are the two times that it'll hit 11,000 feet. Do you get it on that calculator? <laughs> so which one of these are we looking for now? Maximum. Okay, and you have to say now which graph. It's confused. See how it says graph question mark? Uh, I want to do the parabola. Okay. So click on the parabola. And then you go left of it, where the max would be, right of where the max would be. Anyone need help finding the maximum? Okay. So now I'm going to write that down. It was 27.5 comma, 12,170. Now, you need to know what this means. So first of all, our x represents seconds, and our y represents our height in feet. So what I really would like you to write, and you guys should write this part in your notes, is the maximum height of the pumpkin Twelve thousand one hundred seventy feet, and then I want you to say this occurs or happens at twenty-seven point five seconds. Okay. So when you explain what the maximum is, be sure you use units and be sure you state that the height is twelve thousand one hundred seventy feet, or whatever it is, and then the time that it occurs. Okay. All right, we got one more. A soccer ball is kicked from ground level with an initial velocity of 40 feet per second. The height of the ball at any given time t can be described by that equation. So go back to your calculator and clear it out. So go to menu, actions, delete, delete all. Okay. If you have the other one, just delete out your y equals. And we'll type in the new one. So we can set our window later. Don't worry about that yet. Okay. So go to tab, negative, was it 16? Yep, negative 16, x squared plus 40x. And when we graph our soccer ball, it doesn't come out very well in our uh, pumpkin window. Some of you went back to a normal window, that's fine too. So we need to change the window. 
Okay, so go to menu, go to window, and go to number one, window settings. How much time do you think a soccer ball is in the air for? 10 seconds? Okay, we'll try 10 seconds. So I'm going negative 10 to positive 10. How high do you guys think a soccer ball could go? Yes, but like a normal kick, if you weren't trying to kick it up. 100? I don't know. Let's do, let's try 100. I don't know. Okay. Press enter. So we went a little high because our parabola is kind of low on our graph. But that's fine. I'm going to leave it. Okay. Anybody need help with where we're at so far? Anybody got it? So it says, will the ball reach 30 feet? If so, when? Sketch a graph. So go back here. Will the ball reach 30 feet? So we need to put that line in. So go to tab, and we're going to enter in our 30 feet. And the ball does not hit 30 feet. Okay? And so when you answer this question, will the ball reach 30 feet? Nope. Okay? And it does say sketch a graph. Doesn't need to be good. You can just go like this. Parabola line. Nope. Okay. Will the ball reach 15 feet? All right, let's do another line. So go tab 15. Yep. Okay. Find when. So now you guys can go to menu, analyze graph. Which one? What are we trying to find? Yep, where they cross. So intersection. And it's asking which graph, because we have three different graphs. So you need to click on the parabola and the black line. Okay, we're specifying those two graphs. Then you can go left of that intersection, right of that intersection, and the time that it crosses is 0.459 seconds. And then you find the other one. It crosses twice, right? So you go menu, analyze graph, intersection, Again, click on the parabola and the black line, and then go left of it, right of it, and it's all jumbled up, so highlight it so you can see it. 2.041 seconds. So you would write graph, line, and you would put the two times that you just got in seconds for when it crosses. Okay? What does the origin represent? So the origin is this point right here, right? The origin is 0, 0. What does that represent in the context of this problem? So 0 is the time in seconds, and this is the height. So what is it? Where you start, right? So uh, where the ball starts, which is ground level, right? So the zero, 0, is on the ground, and also it's at time 0, so you haven't kicked it yet. Okay, make sense? 